The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the producers and or the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of FRC Media, Bristol Community College or the City of Fall River. Uh, welcome to another edition of Table Topics. If you're watching this show on any other day but a Wednesday, come back next Wednesday for a new show. Thank you. Carlos. Well, where yeah. did you read that? I don't know. You must I'll read that you. somewhere. I, I know. I, I, <laughs> I had it in my head. I have to keep things in the back of my mind. You just have to keep repeating. Yeah, you did, you did good. Yeah. So, yes, welcome <laughs> for another show. Um, last week, and because of uh, uh, my friend over here that Congratulations, um, was uh, your last day of your big fight. Yeah, yeah, huh? <laughs> I know. You know, you know what's amazing about that? I mean, that you're gonna get there shortly, yeah. for sure. Um, but what's uh, kind of funny about the whole thing is uh, I went to Maine this weekend with my wife. Um, it was our anniversary, so yeah, yeah. celebrated. And we were driving back on Sunday, and um, basically, I'm like, Oh, tomorrow's Monday, huh? Monday, yeah. And it didn't and even... Right. Yeah, I'm not going yeah, I don't nowhere. have to worry about it. Where every, you know, I don't know if that's a bad thing with your job, mm -hmm. but no matter what, every every Sunday night, I'd be like, ah. And yeah, I did I that know. when I was in I school know. as well, so, too. Yeah. So it's kind of weird not to have so, that yeah. feeling. Yeah, so that's <laughs> why a lot, of, a lot of people that actually retire uh, found like a little job on the side just yeah. to be a few days out of the house and... Yeah. Uh, not to uh, to be lazy the, the whole week. Yeah, I don't I don't have that problem yet. Yeah, it's only <laughs> it's yet. only been a week. It's yeah. only been a week. But no, I've had um, had you know time to do things. I'm like I'm been doing stuff in my yard every day, um, and I know it's gonna rain, but I have other things I got to do this yeah, week. Yeah. So um, yeah, but uh, welcome welcome the time that say uh, I already did this. I already did that. Yeah. Now yeah. what I'm gonna do? And yeah. um, it's I mean. I'm pretty sure you you are a kind of guy that volunteers a lot. Yeah. yeah Even I when you're working, you used to volunteer a lot. I'm pretty sure you will find a good cause that you know that yeah. you could volunteer yeah, I'm, some hours. I'm not worried about it, but you're right. Probably maybe November. Yeah. Um, I may be looking for something more to do. You yeah. Know, yeah. That, um, and only because of you know how our great winters are here. I don't mind the winters as much as getting dark at 3:30. Yeah. I've always hated that, and I'm like. Come on, January. Come on, the end of January. So I have now, a good solution for that. What's that? November, December, January. Let's take off to Portugal. Oh, yeah. No, that would be <laughs> nice. Yeah, that would be nice. That, that would be nice. I know. It would be nice to leave for a bit. Uh, I hear you. So I hear we, you. Have, we have summer birds coming back. Yeah, you know, yeah. We have some summer birds <laughs> coming back. Um, yeah. They go, and, and even the clients of mine, um, they just coming back like one after another. Uh, yeah. This this week I have at least two coming back, uh, and they have their places in Florida. And yeah. now that the uh, the weather is getting better in here, and then talking about weather, I mean today is yeah. wow. Yeah. I think it's going to be the best day of the week. Yeah, probably. I but you know not to complain about the weather, but I think it was on Sunday. Actually, I had the heat on in my house because it was like 48, 49. Yeah. It was damp out. And then today, I'm sweating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? The good thing about the good thing about the, the new house is, is it's only a switch. You know, yeah, I yeah. mean, if you go to the old houses, yeah. when you put that that heat yeah. off, yeah. it's going to be a, yeah. a no, struggle right. to put it back on yeah. again. Yeah. No, you're you know? right. You're right. Like, it's, uh, but the new houses, thank God, it's uh, it's just a, a switch. You either want heat or you want AC, and it's done. Yeah. At least in my house, it's yeah. like yeah, that. same but, in mine. Um, so um, since uh, we're talking about uh, retirement, so it's no plans at this point. You know, it's uh, just uh, yeah, no, I, I, get I'm up in the morning. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have stuff for to pajamas, do. Same pajamas, make your coffee. No, no, I've been getting up. It's actually, I probably get out of the house now over the last week than when I worked because it's like you get up and you just start yeah, working. Yeah, because lately you've been working out of the house. Yeah, right? yeah. So. so for this, I'm actually like leaving, you know, yeah. so it's kind of uh, kind of different in that sense. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, no, I, for now I do. I like to go on a trip in September because uh, my wife's retiring the end of July. Oh. So I'm not going to really have, 
anything, any trips. I'm oh, going this year? To, yeah, of this year, yeah. Oh. So, um, so we'll be able to do some things uh, later. And I'm going up to visit my aunt and uncle in Maine in a couple weeks. So mm -hmm. that's a couple of days, uh, different scenery, you know what I mean, that sort of thing. So, yeah, uh, yeah. so yeah but I'm not, uh, I got enough to do around the house at this point, you yeah, know. That's good. Uh, that's good. So, um, neighborhood groups, we, um, we uh, try to attend, we attend the Maple Woods, we attend the um, uh, uh, Niagara. Oh, um, I try to attend the South End, but it was canceled. I think it was canceled the day before. I, um, I tried to attend that, so I, I don't know why, but got canceled. Usually never cancels the meeting, so yeah. I was surprised that it, it got canceled. Yeah. Um, was that just, what, last week? Was that last week? I believe it was last Wednesday, I think. Okay. I think it was last yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. Maybe maybe you were stuck in Boston, you know. Uh, so, what uh, I think uh, for the city meetings um, this week we don't have city council meeting. Tomorrow we have a park board meeting. Will be interesting because the the feast of the Holy Ghost is going to be on the agenda. Oh. So, um, okay. will probably will be a, a good. Uh, interesting meeting to uh, to attend, yeah. um, because I don't know if you remember during the during the campaign was a big issue with the mayor supporting yeah. uh, the uh, the feast because of the uh, the, yeah, the the police cost. yeah the yeah, cost the, of it the cost of the police and all of that so would be very interesting to uh, to see how the votes are gonna are gonna yeah. go for that yeah yeah I, I mean. I have a different opinion of it. I, you know, it's like for something like that, I don't mind. Well, right now, your it. opinion matters. You know? Yeah, no, my opinion doesn't <laughs> before, matter. Before, yeah, before <laughs> I didn't know about that, yeah, but now no, no, your but opinion matters a lot yeah. because you're retired now. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. It's bringing in income, um, so it, you know, I, I can yeah. kind of see us, you know, kind of putting out that for that, you know. But um, where other things we do. Mm -hmm. things and we don't really get anything mm -hmm. any payback on it mm -hmm. so um so that's well, just the only thing that that, uh, that brings people over yes i agreed um i don't agree is when they say that um brings tourism and all of that well 90 percent of that people goes to family's house okay, okay. people groups that come to participate yeah. they go to groups they uh, they want they want uh, they don't want the steak they only want the French fries because it's cheaper, okay? <laughs> so that's why for years and I don't know last year or this year if Caravello is going to close, but Caravello has been closing and the door is right on the front step. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. uh, if, uh, I think if they will make money, they will not. That will be the last week they will shut down, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? No, that makes sense. So if they close, something's wrong. Yeah, maybe yeah. they want to attend the um, the feast. Well, it's not that. It's you know the sandwiches and the foods, yeah. right on Kennedy Park. Yeah. So why are you going to sit in a restaurant, yeah. you know, to 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 eat a uh, prag on the pond yeah. when you can have the sandwich right at the uh, at yeah. Kennedy no, Park? I, I agree with you. I agree. So I mean, uh, it's going to bring in. You know, we only have the one hotel now, but it does probably. I, I heard all the hotels in this area full. At that yeah, time. but they fall not not with the uh, with people for the feasts. Right. They they fall all year round. No, oh, all right, you all know. Right, all right. Yeah, no, that's that was in the paper the other day. That yes, you're gonna so people visiting here are gonna really have to go into some competition uh, to get hotel rooms because of mm -hmm. um, the issues that we have. So yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, that's that's uh, that's something. The uh, the city council meeting, we still don't know what the agenda is. I, I yeah. at least uh, last time I checked, it was Sunday. Nothing nothing was on uh, still. Well, so. well, you did bring up, I think, the water rates from a couple weeks back. Yes, that, that did get approved, I believe, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I, and you know, just I, I, and we, I was talking to you about this that um, I did look at like a water bill uh, last quarter. We just got at least I just got mine yesterday. Um, and I don't know if that the increase is in there, maybe, but I had figured it out to be like 25 bucks. Yeah, more. no, still the yeah. increase is not going to hit until oh, to, okay. until July. All right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Which they tried to include it June. Yeah. But you know, I mean, yeah. June 30th. It's the last. 
day of this budget. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you maybe know? it's it was it was like twenty five bucks more. Yeah. But um, it could so be that, because that that was the last one. Last the time. last. All right. All right. That was the last uh, increase. So I mean, according to what people been saying, and I heard somebody saying that uh, it's going to go up at uh, about six hundred dollars a year. So it's one hundred twenty five dollars a quarter. Wow. more yeah if um, that's the case yeah know. that's a lot for some people that's because their all. bills are already five and six hundred uh, I have yes. nowhere I'm yes. paying nowhere near that yes um, and then uh, so and on the other hand you have the people that that we can't we keep complaining oh it's not cheap rent no more how can a person <laughs> rent a cheap apartment if the bills I mean yeah. just to pay the bills you need you need eleven hundred dollars a month at yeah. least yeah just yep. to cover the bills. Yep. If you put another another hundred dollars there just to be on the side in case of the water tank breaks or whatever, so you have money to repair, uh, to repair that. Uh, I mean, that's a, that's a twelve hundred dollar. Yeah, yeah. And and and, to, and if you figure if you're only putting two hundred a month away, at the end of the year that's twelve hundred dollars. You need more than that in account. Yeah. For repairs, mm -hmm. if something big goes, especially if it's a three family, mm -hmm. they're usually older, so there's always something because most of them are 100 years old. So you're you're kind of building the house all yep. over again, basically. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, it was uh, two months ago. I think it was two months ago. I go on my basement, and it's a lot of water on the basement. Every goes my tank. My tank is what five years old, yeah. six years old. Yeah. So, but that's the thing, and and people that. Uh, streets that are in construction right now those tanks are gonna go in a year yeah, yeah. For, for all the rust that's gonna come through those tanks and everything those yeah. tanks gonna go soon yeah. but so I went to to Home Depot every goes it's like eight hundred dollars for yeah. a tank yeah it's then I have to call a plumber because I, I don't know I don't know how to install a, a, a tank you yeah. know so I called the plumber he did a favor for me but charge me two hundred fifty dollars, yeah. and it's cheap it's because it's for you. Yeah. You know, so I mean, right there, it's a thousand dollars just yeah. to change to, yeah. to change just to the water tank. Yeah, and and you're right. Uh, hot water tanks, I think for me, they're like seven years. After seven years, you know what I mean? They're, mm -hmm. You have to get a new one. Mm -hmm. It's just like you said. It will the bottom rusts out and yes. You know, and and, so. and it's funny because you had to you had to uh, empty the water that was on the tank left on the tank yeah. and my god that water sitting on the bottom of that tank was like <laughs> you know yeah. it's coffee yeah yeah, yeah exactly. exactly make coffee out of it yeah exactly. you know yeah. it's it's unbelievable but but it's that's an example with everything going up and now the tax going up and now they want the uh, the the uh, uh, the uh, they want to bring to the mayor wants to bring this override to to the table to yeah, for uh, diamond for yes so um, I mean this this is crazy you know I mean when you put something like that that's it it's a bill for life yeah. you're never going to take them out yeah well I mean the the Durfee and the diamond override should end what in 30 years but I mean I'm not going to see it <laughs> so you're right it is for life no yeah that, that's for life because by the time that's done it's just like the the the, the rain water fee it's yeah. a bill that there was going to be for 20 years and yeah. guess what they were already saying on on the floor that oh, now it's maintaining so guess what that money is going to be yeah. forever you know well, so it's it, actually I, th I believe it, it was 35 right when it started now it's 50. yes so it's gone up even on top of that so yeah you're right it's but remember business paying a lot of money we pay uh, we pay about six hundred dollars a quarter for the school yeah okay yeah. six hundred dollars a quarter yeah. it's a it's a lot of money yeah. you know we already put like 20 grand f easy just yeah. for rain water fee yeah since we have to build it yeah yeah it's tough no, it is it's tough for businesses you know to so, kind of have to pay that money but but sure. what i'm trying to say is you know we in one hand we complain that the, the, the rents are uh, too high, but on the other side, if we jump on the other side, and you see the other side, it's like, where these people going to get money to pay the bills? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. And, it, and it's all, you know, I, I think you said it to me one time, it's kind of hard, nothing makes any sense anymore. Yep. So we have a housing shortage in the state of Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. However, I believe they had said this, 25 or 30,000 people living in hotels right now mm -hmm. looking for apartments. 
So why don't, I don't understand why the powers that be can't put, isn't one and one two? I think they're telling us one and one equal three. Mm -hmm. Because if you stopped and said we can't take any more people because we have a housing shortage and it's supply and demand, right? If you have all these people looking for a house and this much housing, mm -hmm. they're gonna charge what they can. The market can say I can charge 1800. I mean, I look at some of the paper, apartments in the paper, 1800 are online and I'm like, this house is from 1975 yeah. inside and, and you're gonna pay 1800 for that. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's absolutely crazy, but until- And then you have the greedy ones that, oh, guess what? That, that, war, that you can see water from, from that window. <laughs> now it's a waterfront. <laughs> water view, right? A water view now. It's <laughs> like you're going on a cruise. You want a yeah. balcony or a water view? It's <laughs> gonna pay the same. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're right, you're right, it's sad. <laughs> it, it, but until, I think until they come up with the solution of all the people coming in here, it, it, it's not gonna it's not gonna be solved. Yeah. You know, it's just because there's not enough houses. It, it's kind of like I think I was listening the other day. I think six or seven million people have come in in the last four years. Mm -hmm. I don't think the U.S. built seven million seven million houses over four years or three years. I mean, it, it's that's impossible. Yeah, that's why that's why we have apartments with uh, with twenty people living on. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. It's true. That way, it's cheap. They can they can afford a three thousand yeah. dollar apartment yeah, if right. they want to split between twenty people. It's yeah. it's cheap enough for yeah. them. Yeah, no, it is. It's so. <laughs> Hopefully that, well, but, but you're right. My house has that, a water view. I yeah. have a pool on the back, so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I can see the water. If you put an addition to that, you probably could have a water view because then you could say, you're, I, have a, I can see the pond from my house too, yes. but I mean, I'm a mile If I and build half another two, uh, two floors up, yeah. I, I can see the, uh, the, the Davis Beach. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. You're right, you're right. So, yeah, we're looking for, for a lot of fun uh, this summer. We, we need to put those kayaks to work. Yeah, sounds you know, good. They, sounds they good. like today, you know, it's... Yeah, uh, it would have been good today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It would have been good today, for sure. To relax for a couple hours. Um, okay, so let's um, talk a little bit um, nationally. So what's, what's going on nationally? I know uh, it's the same thing. Yeah, right? it's so the same. Um, I mean, it's an election year, right? Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden now we have all these protests again. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't have that since 2020, but now all of a sudden we have all these protests. And I kind of found it amazing. I was watching a press conference with the New York mayor, and he's like, I think these are being funded and they're organized. Mm -hmm. Wow. Didn't you realize that was tw back in 2020? It was the same thing. Because mm -hmm. how are people getting this money? First of all, how are all these people there every day? You know, don't they have jobs? But we're finding out that it's these organizations that are paying these people to do this. So that's their full-time so job. They're buying those tents? Yeah, they're buy they're, they're, <laughs> no, they're not buying the tents. They're being bought for them, you know, is what they're saying. Um, but yeah, I mean, we know yeah, it's well organized. Yeah, look for the 1024. It's, yeah. your, it's, it's your space for the next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy. But I, um, I did see as well, um, and it is amazing that um, we talk about, you know, this country, you know, we're the best country in the world, I get it, but we have a lot of issues. And one of the issues I saw, I thought I was back in Germany mm -hmm. in like 1941, there was a student that was trying to get into UCLA and they wouldn't let him in there. They wouldn't let him in. Mm -hmm. And I was just amazed that, you know what I mean, there wasn't like somebody there to say, let this guy in, he's allowed mm -hmm. to come in here, but they wouldn't let the kid in, he had a camera, and they were like, no, go on. and he was trying to go around, and they were all in front well, of him. Well, one thing that I would like to, to do, because they did some arrests uh, on that university. They did some arrests. I, I, I would like to see if all those people got arrested, because it was a good number of yeah. arrests, if they are actually students on that yeah. school. I think they said half of them weren't students there. Half of them weren't students. So where I, they came from? Uh, they're part of this organization that pays people. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's just interesting that they're finally getting a clue. Mm -hmm. When we knew this was happening four years ago, now we're getting a clue to this. What I did find interesting is they had a guy they interviewed and they were like, are you afraid to get arrested? He goes, what do I care? I'll be out in an hour. Because mm -hmm. they know our laws right now. Yeah. Especially in a place like New York, our laws are terrible. But the thing <laughs> is, but the thing is, these people are now worried that 
th that's going to stay on your record. I don't that's think. That's going to stay I don't on think your some record. of these kids care. I don't think you know, so. I mean, care. that's going to. So you and you and Carlos right now, you want to one day become become a, a detective, or whatever you want to become, and now you have that on you uh, uh, for for something stupid. Yeah. You have you have something on your record. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, Carlos, because all the riots during 2020, none of those people were prosecuted. When they were in front of that courthouse in um, Portland, Oregon, mm -hmm. you know how they were talking. You know, you got to have it one way or the other. So they basically didn't do anything to the Portland people. They were attacking a courthouse, mm -hmm. attacking a courthouse. All the charges were dropped on them. Mm -hmm. But then we see in other instances, people didn't do the right thing, but they're being put in jail for like 10, 15 years mm -hmm. when these other people got off. So I would, I would bet to say that probably three quarters of the people that got arrested, the charges are going to be dropped because mm. that's what happened during 2020. Well, another thing that, that, that I, I really get mad and upset, and I'm not a U.S. born. If I became U.S. citizens by choice, yeah. I chose to become one. Yeah. And when I became one, I put my hand on the Bible pretty much saying, this is my country now, okay? That I will not betray my country. This is my country. And one of the questions is, if we go to war, are you okay to go to war? And you have yeah. to say yes, yeah. okay? So that's, that's one of the big questions they put you when you become a U.S. citizen. One thing that I, that I get upset all the time is when I see all these flags flying. And I don't see an American flag. You know, that really, I mean, I'm, I'm a citizen by choice and I got mad. I can imagine a person that was born in here 100%, okay, how they feel about, uh, uh, about this because I don't understand. I'm Portuguese. You won't see a Portuguese flag on my car. You won't see a Portuguese flag ringing on, 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 uh, 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 waving on my house. I am an American. It was my choice to become an American. So you can do anything you want. I'm an American. And I'm 58. If I have to, pick, uh, to grab a gun and go defend this country that I was not born on, but it was my choice to become, uh, 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 to live here, yeah. I have no problem with that. And that's what I, I, uh, that's what I, I, I did when I become a, 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 an American citizen. So if you have this, this people now complaining about, okay, and saying, oh, my country and my country, is let's take them back to the office and say, do you remember what you signed here? Yeah, that's all, I mean. So do you want us to, to, to scratch this off, rip this, and you become your country citizen again? Yeah, that, that won't happen. That won't but happen. But that really gets me mad. That's, that's the state of this country. That's what people have been voting for for the last 20 years in this country. And you know what? That's what they got. That's exactly what they have. Because, you know, I, and I can remember when I was a kid, all right, living here in the U.S. You know, people, when they came to the U.S., they wanted to assimilate. They, wa they didn't want any, you know, part of their country. They left. Mm -hmm. They were American. That's what they were. The, Kids, you know, that I went to school with, they may have been Portuguese, but they wanted, their, their parents said, you speak English all the time. Mm -hmm. That's just how it was. Mm -hmm. You're an American. You're not from Portugal. You're not from mm -hmm. here. You know, I, I don't have an issue with people keeping customs and stuff like that, but it's become where now everybody wants their customs from their country to be here, mm -hmm. you know, and that's not how this country works. And it's a scary thing. Yeah. Because you have to have something that reunites you as a country. Well, and that's and not if how you it go, is. Uh, John, if you go just 20 years ago, when people, my, my parents' age, came over here, they had always bring somebody to, in, to translate for them. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Daughter or son or neighbor, yeah. they always had somebody to, tra to, to, uh, to translate for them. These people now expect that we pay somebody yeah. to be there yeah. when they decide to go there yeah. and look for services. Yeah. You're here to ask, ask for help. Talk to me in my language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, it really, I mean, all, the, all this stuff, really, it, I, I don't know. It's Thank it, God. It, 
I probably have another yeah. 20 years of runs, and, yeah. and now I will be gone. But it's happening, you know, I mean, I, I'm concerned about what is happening here in America, but um, people don't see a lot of the news. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, know, you kind of watch it, but Ireland over the weekend had massive protests in Ireland. You know mm -hmm. why? Because of all the migrants coming in there. And the government's doing exactly what they're doing here in the U.S. They're paying for these people's apartments or to live in hotels, and they're finding them housing, and they're giving them stipends or money to live there. And the people that are Irish that are like, what? What is going on? Mm -hmm. Like, here are people in America. But I, it's different, I think, in here in America because people come from all over the place. Mm -hmm. And if you say, I don't want this, well, your family came here 100 years ago and they got it. No, they didn't get it. Mm -hmm. It's different now. Now people are getting all these benefits. Mm -hmm. So... Like I said, it's happening all over the world, unfortunately. And and the, the way I, the way I'm being seeing things is we've been slowly changing to accommodate yeah. people. Yeah. And should not should not be that way. Just because I came from Portugal and I used to bring the cows on the streets <laughs> and drink milk right out out of the cows, <laughs> you know, come on, uh, Fall River can do that too. No, we we have different rules. Yeah. You know, we have different rules, and I have to obey those rules. Yeah. I'm not going to fight to change the rules. That's their rule. Yeah. If I want to drink fresh milk out of a cow, I go there, yeah. and I drink it there because it's legal there. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I, I haven't seen this happen here in the U.S. yet, but definitely in Europe when people were coming in back in, what was it, 15, 2015, when they had the wars, all these people just inundated in Europe. And I know there were a lot of Scandinavian countries, Germany, mm -hmm. they started having massive rapes there going on. And they actually had to teach, you know, the, the guys, this is not what you do in this country. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you need to do what you did in your own country. You don't come here and just start grabbing people. You can't mm -hmm. do that. You know, so it's amazing that, you know, they, they got the people. Now they have to tell them, this is not our, what our custom is. Yep. To me, my, my thing would have been you need to be deported. If you can't live the way we're yep. living here, mm -hmm. you need to go back to where you came from. Well, and, and for some countries, and, and the things are getting so bad because in some countries, um, you can legally get married to a 10-year-old. Yeah. Okay? And it's people out there already that can talk about this like, you know, like anything. I mean, yeah. it's not, it's natural. No, it's not even natural for you to be talking about. Yeah. You know, I mean. But that's, but that's what's happening but, in America. People, people are making that, that's okay. And when they start thinking, oh, maybe because maybe we should, maybe we think, and maybe when you, when that maybe starts getting, uh, you know, going around, yeah. it's bad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's exactly. bad. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> With that, I think we're almost Are over we, the time. I don't know. Yep. Um, Looks like we're all, all pretty much at the end of the show. So, okay. with that, have we'll a good see night. See you next week. Yep.